Hey everybody, welcome to my studio. My name is Rick Epstein, and this here is Ted. Teddy, say hello. How you doing? Say hello. Well, he's my uh, studio buddy, and uh, he's also a COVID puppy. Just came here a few months ago, a couple months ago, and he keeps me, keeps me company and chews on my hand. Okay, so, welcome to my studio. Uh, I go by the name Ari Clayworks, and I sculpt and paint three-dimensional landscapes. Uh, I've been at the Rehoboth Art, Outdoor Art League show uh, for the last two or three years to great success, and I'm super excited about having you come into my studio today and have this opportunity. Uh, bummed we can't be together uh, this year in Rehoboth. It's one beautiful place, and, uh, but the pandemic has us staying apart. So, uh, I utilize a number of different techniques and materials uh, to gain a, what would be a bas-relief landscape. Uh, uh, conventional clay materials, different types, which ultimately are fired in my kiln. I have a kiln here in the studio. And uh, a number of alternate materials uh, from paper clay to plaster, different composites, which I hand sculpt on wood. All my pieces are one of a kind. There's no molds or anything. And uh, ultimately, when those are dry, uh, I, I paint it with an artist acrylic. So you have a painting uh, meeting sculpture. Uh, let me take a minute and walk you through what, what I have on the walls right now and, and uh, give you an introduction. My subjects range from, you know, ocean seascapes, to, I do a lot of wooded scenes, I'm a big hiker, I do a lot of uh, forest, and p p as well as the lakes, which are pretty common in New England here. Uh, so the first piece we're gonna look at is a piece inspired by Rehoboth Beach, uh, and features, you know, these pine trees that, that kind of line the shore back from the dunes in, uh, in Delaware, and uh, I miss it not being there this weekend. So, so this piece uh, would be an example of that um, additional, this is actually not quite done, but this is a, uh, a late, late, late day sunset uh, in the marine environment. Uh, this 60 inch piece to my right uh, is titled Breaking Wave, and uh, it's a good example of how facets of the surface approach you and others recede and dramatize what would be the movement of the wave and how it, uh, it's captured at that moment. Uh, you can actually get a good view of the sand here, which I'm actually using beach sand, it's kind of funny, so uh, it really has some, some real dynamic texture. Um, over here, uh, I had mentioned uh, hiking paths. Uh, here are, are two pieces that demonstrate with bar relief, you have some branches that advance toward you and some recede, and you use scale, uh, reduction of scale to uh, fool the eye to suggest that something is distant, and all that works together to uh, create uh, a strong entry point and uh, direction uh, for the viewer. Um, the uh, one nice facet of the dimension is how the work interacts with light, because it's a, a painting, for example, would be flat. Here, uh, we have this dimension advancing forward, so if you have a window on the right and light's directional, you have a shadow along the limbs and you have some interesting shadows. And of course, that's a, um, a dynamic function that constantly changes as the lighting advances. Um, one point about all my work, most everything is unframed. So uh, you see lots of texture as you come to understand on the surface as well as the sides. Some have pieces have a full return to the wall. Other pieces uh, have a floating, a floating design, uh, which is interesting. A piece can be, that I make for an individual can be either, doesn't matter, whatever you prefer. Uh, then over here we have a wall of additional work. Um, An interesting beach piece here, again, dramatizing the movement of water uh, on an early morning timetable uh, to its left. 
We have a uh, beach entry path. Um, not a huge amount of texture uh, relative to some of the other, some of the, say, the wooded scenes, but as the surface advances toward you, it's much deeper off the wall than it is, say, for example, the level of the sky. So uh, it's subtle, but plays, plays well. That's true. Uh, up top here, we have another piece inspired by Rehoboth, um, which are these great paths to the beach. Um, and you can see here's another beach one, which is a little bit more of a contemporary uh, presentation. Uh, this six tile uh, clay landscape is representational of a whole series that I do that's tile driven. And uh, I do them, I've done them, you know, 15 feet tall and 12 feet wide. I mean, it, it all depends uh, on the installation, um, but they can be any size and any season as well. Uh, going further, further, there's a triptych you see with a four inch tile, different geometry. Um, there's another uh, six tile piece, the birch tree in front of moving water. And uh, I think it creates a dramatic advanced surface off, off what would be the, the plane of water. Um, above, another close up of a beach scene where you actually have beach rock uh, at, your, at your feet, so to speak. Um, and that's it. I have another lake piece here, another ocean work here and here, um, which brings me uh, full circle in, in terms of your studio tour today. Uh, I'm hoping that this introduction kind of was intriguing, and I'm hoping that it encourages you to contact me uh, by phone or by email. Uh, more than 50% of what I, what I create in the course of a year is specific work for specific uh, individuals, uh, for their specific walls for that matter. Uh, a lot of people may have a great view from their home or you visited a place uh, that has memory, you can, you can send me a picture, uh, furnish me pictures, and I'll resupply you with sketches as to uh, uh, how it would look. We can talk about the scale and, uh, and the palette for how it might uh, appear in, in that room with the, with the furniture and the settings you have. And I can, um, I can sculpt you a, a brand new piece. So think about that, let that gestate for a minute there, and give me a call. Meanwhile, it was a great honor to have you here today uh, at my studio. Again, my name is Rick Epstein, RE Clayworks. Uh, please reference my website, and we hope that we can all be together next year. Stay well.